Alright, so this is the tutorial on how to get a, the, to set a variable, uh, from the URL. Uh, if you ever seen something when you go to a website, something like this. Uh, that, it's, uh, by the way, it's called a query string, the thing that's after the question mark. So... Gonna show you how to make a really simple one in PHP. Uh, to do this, you're gonna need a web server. If you're using Mac OS X, you're gonna have a built-in one by going to the Sharing Preferences pane in System Preferences and just starting web sharing. I already have that. Um, and though it says um, that would be your IP address. Uh, you can also use localhost if you're on the same if you're on uh, that same computer. If you're not on the computer, then you have to use the IP address. So, without further ado, let's get to the code. You're gonna open a PHP tag by doing that, and then you're just gonna put a simple def uh, declaring a variable. So let's name it QS for query string. And it's going to be equal to the global variable get. Uh, I'm sorry. Underscore get. <clears throat> and then in here, right here, where my cursor is, that is where you're going to put the uh, what what you want uh, to be after the question mark and before the equal sign. So, like, if I wanted it to be def equals g h i. Then it would have to be DEF in here. And then it would set QS to be equal to G, uh, GHI because that's what's after the equal sign. So, in the first part of this tutorial, all I'm going to show you is how to echo out or print to the page uh, the value of that query string. In the next part of the tutorial, I'll show you actually how to use that in a, well, a usable, more uh, useful manner. So, quickly, let's just echo QS and line and PHP. Let's save that. And refresh that. As you can see, we get absolutely nothing because there's no query string. But if we add the query string, def equals ghi, there we go. All right, so thanks for watching this part of the tutorial. And um, as soon as uh, you can watch the second part to, as I said, learn how to use the query string in a more useful way in your scripts, such as JavaScript or HTML or even more PHP.